Hi. This weekend I tested out Omniverse's extension framework, which is essentially a plugin system for extending Omniverse apps. I wanted to get a sense of how easy it would be to create tools and pipeline for Omniverse. So I'm excited to share here in this window menu is my extension PRT, which is listed as a first class citizen with the rest of the windows. So when I click on that, it opens up my PRT window. And this is using City Engine's procedural runtime library, which is a procedural modeling library. This takes a rule package, which is essentially a blueprint for your model, and then parameters for tweaking it. So if I hit create, it's going to go ahead and give me, in this case, this eco-friendly building with a lot of green space and you know vines growing uh, off the windows. So that's all really nice. And then I can go ahead and you know tweak these settings. Maybe I want an O-shaped building. I'm going to move that one out of the way and change up the second tier here. And maybe I want it to be all residential. So then I go ahead and click on that. And I get a new O-shaped building here with a bit more of a setback for the second tier. So this is all really just standing on the shoulders of giants. Uh, I just contributed a little bit of USD glue code, but um, most of the work is coming from uh, the Omniverse extension library, which it gives you the, the UI code. And um, there's not a lot of documentation, but there are a lot of examples in the Omniverse kit to learn from. And then I'm also using Esri's Pi PRT, which is a uh, Python bindings around that procedural runtime library that I told you about. And this uh, is also using the uh, rule package that is included in this repo. So really easy to get started with creating tools and pipeline in Omniverse. Uh, I'm really excited for the possibilities. And I encourage you to try it out. Let me know if you have any questions.